Pierre Engvall, New York Islanders. Pierre, I'm going to turn it over to Elliot to ask the obvious first question. Well, I, I have to say, I, when I saw you walk in the room with a beard, I said, how long is that thing going to stay before you go back to Long Island? <laughs> uh, probably like the, the day I fly back, it's going right off. <laughs> uh, you know, I was used to having a beard before, but, uh, you know, now, uh, you know, it's no beard. So, uh, but it's good. You know, I think I look younger with no beard. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you look good no matter what. That's the, that's <laughs> okay, the thing. Thank you. Uh, lose rules. Lose rules. And yeah. uh, congratulations on the deal. Thank you. Uh, seven year deal. Why has it been such a good fit for you with the Islanders? Why has it clicked? Uh, you know, I think uh, when I got traded and coming over, I think right away I felt. Um, Pretty comfortable with the, you know the system. I like how they play, and also you know, you know, I get a lot of help from the teammates coming in, and and you know, I got to play with great players. Yeah. And I think Nelson and Palmieri there was, um, yeah. I don't know, you know, I felt that we had some chemistry, you know, going in there. Uh, I feel like I'm finding them nice, and they're finding me, and we mm -hmm. they they're easy player to play play with, uh, if I say like that. I think, I think Nelson is one of the most, like, what did you learn about Nelson in particular that you didn't know? Because I think he's one of the most underrated, unknown guys out there. Yeah, he is definitely one of the most underrated in the league. Uh, I think, you know, even like, you know, he's he's pretty fast. You know, he has a great shot. Uh, you know, before I felt like, you know, he was more, you know, really good, you know, playmaking, you know, things like that. But, you know, you know his speed is underrated and his shot is really underrated. Yeah, he's a good player. Yeah, he's a great player. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, but even Palmieri too, like uh, he's, you know, he, he's strong on the puck. You know, he's not the tallest, the biggest player, but like, you know, I just remember, remember, you know, he's like one on one in the corner, and he yes. almost every time he's like, somehow he like gets by the guy, and he gets you on a two on one or a three on two somehow. So, you know, great players, smart guys. Yeah. Uh, the one thing we know about Lou Lamarillo is uh, for the players that he likes, he is loyal yeah. and, uh, and, and players don't leave. And you're uh, another in that long list. Um, what does that do to the room? Like you look at a lot of players on this Islander squad and there's a lot of term attached to yeah. these to these guys. What does that do to the room? Like I'm curious, like from a player's point of view, because, you know, there's nothing, you know, no new shiny toy coming into uh, to the Islanders organization this this offseason. It's a lot of. Yeah. We're re-signing what we have. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think, you know, uh, players uh, know what they can expect from each other. And I think, you know, coming in there, you can feel like they had a really strong group of guys that were like, you know, you can feel in the games you're playing, like they, they have your back and, like you know, everyone is uh, fighting for each other. And, um, you know, maybe we have uh, more, more routine guys, you know, they have older guys on the team and... Uh, uh, but, you know, I, I think it builds, like, you know, faith in each other, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and, um, and things like that. So, you know, I'm really happy to come back there to, to play for the Islanders. I know when you did your exit interview, you said it was a toss-up on whether or not you, it would come back. When yeah. did you realize it was – what were you thinking that day? And when did you realize that it was going to happen? Uh, you know, I think um, – uh, you know, when the season ended there, I, I knew, uh, you know, uh, they had a lot of guys to sign. Also, you know, it was coming up, you know, Mayfield, uh, Sorokin, um, you know, um, so uh, Varmolo, Varmolo, Varmolo yeah. so, you know, they have some guys they needed to sign. So I just, uh, I didn't know if they were going to be able to fit me in with the team, but, uh, you know, um, they offered me a good deal. So, you know, I I think uh, that was the best fit for me, and I really liked uh, liked my time there. So, so you see, one of the things I'm curious about here is because it's Lou Lamorello. Yeah, we never know when any of this happens. He announces it when he announces it. Yeah, but we never know. Like I remember the night before, yeah. somebody told me you'll never be able to prove it, but Scott Mayfield <laughs> is signed. Like it's done. He's not going to the uh, okay, market. Okay, okay. So when did? How soon before July first? Did you know you were staying? Uh, you know, I think um, we had uh, good conversations all the way through. Mm -hmm. uh, but, 
You know, I think I had a pretty good, um, uh, what can you say? Idea. Uh, idea that I was going to stay. And, uh, you know, I, I wanted to stay. And I think, um, uh, you know, I told you also, you know, if we, uh, if we have something good here, like a good deal, and you know you feel good about me, like I, I would like to stay in New York and play for you guys. Uh, and uh, you know we had a good conversation all the way through. And um, and when July first came there, you know I I signed the deal, so it felt really good. We were talking to Rasmus Sandin earlier on. We were talking about Toronto. Yeah. What are you, when now that you've had some time to think about leaving and going to the island? Yeah. What do you remember about Toronto? What did Toronto teach you about life in the NHL? Uh, you know, obviously, you know, you it's, it can be a hard market to play in, you know, especially with the media. Uh, but I think uh, you can you can have it to your advantage too, you know, if you're, uh, you know. And for me, I think they were, for me, the media was always good to me and everyone was, uh, uh, you know, really good. So... I have nothing bad to say about that, uh, um, but you know, it's uh, you can feel that it's it's more more pressure. I think you can feel it's uh, in the air somehow. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, I think I think it was uh, you know great to play for Toronto, and I think um, you know it really gets you um, uh, also you know, ready for what's coming next, I think. Uh, yes. But, but uh, you know, I had a great time there and I think uh, I developed good uh, playing for Toronto. From an individual point of view, um, I mean, team success is obviously measured by, you know, how far you go in the play, but making the playoffs, how far you go, Stanley Cup, et cetera. Yeah. From an individual point of view, what'll be a successful season for Pierre Engvall? You know, I think uh, I would like to go back to New York with... Uh, you know, the same way I, I ended the season, you know, uh, I think I took my offensive game a little bit better. I started to make more plays. I started holding on to the puck more. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think playing with um, uh, Nelson and uh, Paul Mary, I think we had some chemistry. So mm. if I play with them, I, with them, I would be really happy. But, uh, you know, we have a good team. So if I play with some somewhere else, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that too, of course. Uh, how much in the off season do you follow what teams around you are doing? And you know the obvious one is well, the Pittsburgh Penguins added Eric Carlson. Yeah, uh, he stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he stinks, how, yeah. how much do you watch what's going on around the division in the off season, or do you just try to unplug? No, I mean, obviously, I you know you you have a little bit of uh, look. You know, even if you have Instagram, Twitter, of course, yeah. it's gonna come up. You see what player goes to to what teams. Uh, but yeah, you know, Eric Carlson going to Pittsburgh there was that's uh, a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. So um, yeah, I mean, uh, I have a pretty good look of where the the players go. You told me something once, and I've always remembered it. And uh, that was, you know, you were a seventh round pick, and yeah. I asked you if you thought, you know, you would have a chance, and you said that. You know, it didn't bother you because you, you saw Patrick Hornfist make yeah. it as a seventh rounder yeah. and that it, it didn't matter to you that you were taken late, that you knew yeah. you'd have a chance. Yeah. I, I always tell young players about that now. Okay. And uh, I, I just always wonder, Pierre, like when was the moment that you said, this is going to work for me? Like, I'm going to, I'm going to make this. Um. You know, I think, uh, like you said before, I think I always, um, uh, you know, I, you, you shouldn't compare yourself to other players, but, you know, if I saw someone else, you know, make it from like seven on Sederberg, Lundqvist, yeah. you know, if they could make it, why why not me, you know? And, um, but, um, you know, I think if you do, you know, do the job and, you know, you... Uh, you have someone else you can look up to, you know, follow that, follow that path. I think um, it's possible, you know. And I think also, like, there's even players, you know, they don't even get drafted and somehow they end up being the best scoring players in the NHL. So I think, um, I don't know, I think my, my first year coming over to the Marlies, I think it was a learning process, you know, living, you know, on the other side from... You know, and we're a long way from home. I think it was a big um, adjustment. Yeah. yeah, adjustment. Yeah. And then I think I didn't have a, a good season that year. And then the season after, 
I kind of lower my expectations and, you know, I, f I think um, uh, I got to play out more of my game and, and it went really well in the AHL and I got called up and, um, you know, I think, I think when, when Keith came in, yeah, uh, you know, and he, he knew what I could do in the a AHL and he kind of believed that I could do it in the NHL too. And I think after the first game there, I got my goal and, Think from from then I understand like you know what I did in the AHL maybe I can do it in the in the NHL. One of your the Leaf teammates said to me said that sometimes the conversations between you and Keith could be pretty yeah. intense. Yeah. <laughs> like he said, like he said it was he said it was amazing. He said he could tell that Keith really believed in you. Yeah. But at times he was like, I've got to get more out of this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think. Um, you know, uh, like if I, I felt like he believed in me, but also he could uh, tell me, you know, I needed to play better. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, you know, we had a pretty good relationship, I think. Uh, uh, so, uh, you know, but yeah, he, he told me when I didn't play good. I can tell you that. <laughs> you yeah. need the honesty. You yeah, 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 he was honest about that. Uh, uh, last one for me and, uh, any type of run to a championship, uh, is great for a player's development. What did winning the Calder cup do for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that was, I came from Sweden. I came over until the playoffs there. I think I played a few regular games before the playoffs. Uh, but of course, you know, winning and, uh, and things like that, it's, um, um, uh, I don't know if I think winning gets gets you the feeling that you want to win more. Yeah. And I think people telling you like winning in the AHL it's good but you know the feeling about winning the Stanley Cup it's obviously even better and even bigger but um yeah I think I think it gets you the feeling that you want to win you want to be in the the big thing, the Stanley Cup, you know, and that's probably everyone's dream but I think if you get a little touch of winning I think that oh, yeah. um helps you get the extra motivation, I would, I think. That's awesome. Pierre, thanks so much for this. Thank you. Uh, have a great year with the Islanders. Thank you very much. Be well.